Hey guys, welcome to part two of our immunology mini series. Welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. What we're gonna to discuss today is antigen presentation. First of all, what is an antigen? Second of all, what cells present antigen? And third of all, what cells are activated so that way you can get rid of the pathogen that's present within your body, causing you to have that cough or that sniffle. Let's talk about that and a little bit more today. So first of all, what is an antigen? So an antigen is any foreign substance that's going to activate the inflammatory response. We used to say that antigens were things that antibodies would bind to. Antibodies were initially called antitoxins, and then we discovered what antibodies were, so we started to call them antibodies. And then antigen stemmed from that because antibodies would bind antigen. But essentially what an antigen is, is anything that's foreign. There are specific cells which are antigen presenting cells. And those cells include the macrophage as we discussed, the dendritic cell as we discussed in a previous episode, as well as a B cell. Well, here's what happens. A bacteria is gonna enter your body. And then once it gets engulfed by a macrophage, the macrophage is gonna break that bacteria up and present a certain type of antigen to a dendritic cell or to a T cell. And then the T cell is gonna morph into a specific type of T cell that's going to be able to recognize not only that pathogen, whether it's a bacteria or a virus or a fungus, but it's also going to be able to recognize a cell that's infected by that virus or bacteria or fungus. Here's how this works. When a cell is infected by a virus, that virus is going to get inside the cell. The organelles within the cell are gonna break down that virus and they're gonna take a piece of it, antigen, and they're gonna put it on its MHC, on its receptor. We call that MHC1. Every cell has an MHC1. When it's on that receptor, that antigen is just out there for anybody to see. A T cell can see it. A T cell will come over, recognize that antigen, and kill that cell because that cell is pathologic now. It doesn't function properly. It's taken over by the virus. A dendritic cell is really, really good at presenting antigen to T cells. And it's going to present its antigen to T cells that are more specific for making and communicating with B cells to make antibodies. We call these T cells CD4 T cells. So this dendritic cell presents antigen to a CD4 T cell. The T cell recognizes antigen, and now this T cell will go and communicate with another type of B cell, which will make antibodies specific to bind to those antigens. That way we can clear that infection. B cells are also antigen presenting cells. B cells will also see antigen and be able to present it to T cells that are going to recognize this antigen and be able to morph into a better T cell that'll be able to fight this infection. So again, what we've discussed is we've discussed innate immunity, what has to happen and what cells are involved in the very beginning. We transition to knowing that something is wrong, recognizing what that wrong substance looks like, and presenting this substance to other types of cells so that they can become better at killing off foreign material. This is called antigen presentation. Hey guys, thanks for joining today. I really hope you understand that the concept of antigen presentation is quite simple. Cut a piece of the bacteria, you take a piece, you present it to another cell that becomes activated, and then it gets rid of that particular foreign substance. Very simple concept. Remember, we're here to arm you with information. I wanna meet you next week for part three of our immunity series. 
So that way, get more ammunition. Thanks for joining.